हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होप यू आर एक्साइटेड आफ्टर सीइंग द थंबनेल लेट मी फर्स्ट सेट एन एजेंडा फॉर दिस वीडियो एनएफटी बिल्ड पाइपलाइन वाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट नाउ इट इज डेवलपर्स आर वेरी कॉमनली यूजिंग गिटहब फॉर मेंटेनिंग देयर कोड एंड इन गिटहब वी नोज दैट देयर आर मल्टीपल ब्रांचेस सो व्हाट वी आर डूइंग हियर इज लाइक व्हेनेवर अ डेवलपर मर्जेस हिज कोड टू द मेन ब्रांच of the development repository then webhook comes into picture so whenever there is any merge in the main branch so webhook sends a notification to the jenkins and what finally jenkins does is like it triggers and build so once the development build is successfully executed so it automatically triggers a nft pipeline and this nft pipeline has multiple stages our agenda is to implement the ci cd nft build pipeline in this particular video so before looking into the complete process let's talk about the prerequisites it i have listed them to keep the video short so first of all we need jenkins account next github accounts we need ngrock tool which will expose our local development system to internet probably this you will not require when you will be working in your uh, organization so here i am using it to uh, because in my local jenkins which is running in local host 8080 and the webhook does not responds to 8080 so when i have tried to look for its work around so the first thing which i have got in stack overflow is ngrock and it very easily exposes the local system to internet i can also show you this after that finally we will have to also set up jenkins credentials i have done it for two different repositories which i'll be using in my github account and the, in this particular video let's check the complete process so first of all we'll try to integrate jenkins with github so here you can see i have multiple repositories and what we need to do is like we'll have to first integrate this develop repositories with jenkins so to do so what we have uh, what i'll be using is like webhook so here when i come to settings click on settings go to webhooks here i'll delete the previously existing webhook i'll try to create new one so add webhook so it asks the url so currently i'm running at localhost http let me copy it from here only so and so github webhook and when i click on add webhook probably it will not so you can see there was an error setting up your webhook sorry the url host local host is not supported so this is where uh, ngrock comes into picture so let me uh, start ngrock my data ngrock i have downloaded it and so once you, when you will be executing it for the very first time probably it may ask you for uh, creating an account so i have created it so now what i want to is like to i want to exi, uh, run my local uh, application which is running at port 8080 to into the internet so i am using ngrock so you can see here it has provided me two different urls so i'll be using this url to access jenkins so let me go back to chrome and it should redirect me to jenkins so yes again you can see i got redirected to jenkins so yes so now what i want is like i now i was setting up a webhook so let me remove that particular local host and now let me test this webhook again there was an error setting up in webhook why show okay because of an extra space so this time i feel it should return me successful yes okay that hook was successfully created next thing is like i have set up a github credentials in my jmeter so you can see i when i go to my profile i profile under that credentials so i have these are the two global key i have set for two different repositories git jmeter and develop so i have multiple repositories into my github 
finally i can talk about my use case so my use case is like whenever there will be any change in the the main branch of the develop repository then it should trigger a jenkins build so let me go to this particular freestyle project now let just setting up a bridge between what is going how so i'm looking into this particular git repository i have added my credentials over here so these two credentials so this i have passed the credentials for develop branch develop repository and i am looking into the main branch so whenever there will be any change so where it is polling yes github hook triggers for git scm so whenever there will be any change in the main repository so github webhook will notify this jenkins and this jenkins will trigger this particular build fine and once this build is co completed successfully then what will going to happen it will trigger another job so what is that particular job it will trigger it will trigger my jenkins pipeline job and what does this job contains so let me show you what does this job contains so this that something has been triggered has been changed in the develop main branch so where i need to go to i need to go to my free develop config and it should auto trigger a build yes you can see here a few minutes ago it has auto triggered a build and once this build will be completed what we comes to know from this jmeter pipeline so once this develop job is completed successfully it should trigger this so let me show you few more thing what we can go to console output yes so it started by github push by modi rakesh 07 so this is my account id running as a system so and so it has been started and probably this is the dummy uh, dummy sanity test i have also executed here uh, after that it should auto trigger this pipeline so let me show you here yes you can see here and again let me go to the console output started by upstream project freestyle develop so once the freestyle develop has been completed successfully it has triggered this job jmeter pipeline and this particular job has multiple stages so what are those so it has cloned repository now it has successfully executed the sanity test at the moment it is running a load test so what i have done here is like my sanity test is for just 10 seconds and my load test is for around one minute and finally my execute and rest test i feel like it is for 200 seconds so it will take some time and finally i'll get the published report so this is how this complete workflow works anything which i have missed in between i don't think so please do let me know if i have missed anything so our nft pipeline job has got completed successfully if we want to go and look to the console output once again we can do so and again it got started by freestyle projects different stages the outputs are also over here and finally this publish report so what you i can also show you is like performance report for all the previous builds here you can also get the comparative analysis with the previous build all these reports i am getting with the help of the performance plugin which i have added and i can also what i can also show you is the workspaces so within this workspaces you can see that all my scripts has been cloned so this is the i can say this has happened in my first stage where i have cloned everything from my jmeter 
repository. Hopefully I covered everything and I am able to convey my message and I am able to explain this use case where I am triggering my Jenkins NFT pipeline once the develop build is built successfully. Thank you for watching this video. Please do like and subscribe.